And welcome back to episode two of Skyrim Fits and Starts with Manfred Testerson and the Stormcloak uh, sympathizer uh, and uh, sometimes adventurer. So let's let's run along. Uh, we're going to uh, try to make our way in the general direction of Corvan Jund, uh, but uh, at the same time perhaps uh, gaining some experience. Um, always a good thing, you know. So let's move, let's see, if we go this way we're going to head up past the Mixwater Mill and then we're going to hang a right and we're going to end up uh, on the near Valtheim Tower. If we go that way, we're going to end up near Nightgate or, and Helyarkin, which is actually closer to uh, Corbin Um That might be a little too quick. Uh, we could also end up heading up over the pass and going to Dawnstar instead. I think we're better off going this way first, um, which is essentially south uh, from from Windhelm and passing by Kynes Grove and various other places. Uh, I don't remember who added that logging mill there. Um, but Kynes Grove has been... I, I've put together sort of a a, uh, a a package of my own, uh, I guess is the best way of putting it, of town and city enhancements. Uh, some of it certainly has an effect on my, on my frame rate, and for that I, I do apologize, but I, I, I am kind of a graphics and aesthetics lover, so uh, when it comes to that sort of thing, I'm willing to take the hit. Uh, I don't remember whose uh, ad adaptation this is, but uh, among others, I'm using uh, mods by Clef J, who is a wonderfully talented and very underrated modder, uh, has done some wonderful uh, little small town enhancements and lots of um, added player homes and things. I'm using some of JK's um, work, uh, notably I think uh, Riverwood is one. Uh, I'm using a uh, mod called Settlements Enhanced or Expanded, I don't remember, one or the other. Uh, and also I'm using, uh, along with the palaces and castles, interiors enhanced, I'm using the Dawn of Skyrim Director's Cut. So all of those uh, certainly add lots of textures for the game to load. But they also add a lot of visual chewiness, which I love. And, uh, you know, it's so much nicer than, than the same old, same old. Uh, and that's fine with me. And if it drops my frame rate a little bit right now, what am I getting? I'm in the 50s, so that's not terrible. Uh, I am running a 1070, uh, but of course this is Legacy Skyrim, so I can only use about 4 gigabytes of RAM, and, or VRAM, and I'm not uh, messing around with patches at this point. I know there are some out there, uh, but I'm not... Uh, I'm not gonna. So now, here um, uh, you can see some of the newer textures. This is uh, Skyland farmhouses. Uh, it's, it's uh, I think, a little bit nicer than the Amidian born, uh, which are very old in the tooth, are long in the tooth now. I think they go way back to 2013, perhaps even. Uh, this uh, just came out within the last few months, and I think some of the architecture uh, what do you was need? borrowed from Skull, this particular the high archway here. With his voice. So anyway, uh, I like it. I think it looks good. The thatching looks nice, uh, much better than most. Uh, I think uh, Emidian Born's farmhouses did the thatching really well, and even the vanilla thatching was good. Some of the thatchings I've seen, which are supposedly these high-resolution retextures, just look like plastic caps. They're terrible. So, uh, and I've I've been to places in Europe where they still have thatch roofs, and and uh, this looks a little bit like that. So, uh, there should be a little bit more moss up there, but that's just me. Anyway, 
No reason to stop in Kynesgrove. Thanks, Trudelia. Ooh, an archaeologist. Hello. Yes? I like to find ancient objects. Do you need any help? Hmm, she says. Well, there is that ruin that I heard of where you can find an ancient artifact. If you bring it to me, I would pay you. Thank you. That would be excellent if you would do that. He might... Hmm. As long as you bring me something, I'll be happy, she says. All right. Well, um, okay. Uh, no, nothing specific, huh? All right. Well, um, oh, Shroud Hearth Barrow. There is the specificness. Uh, my bad. I don't remember exactly where a Shroud Hearth Barrow is. Uh, let's see. Shroud Hearth Barrow. Oh. Oh, right. Iverstadt. That's, that's kind of on the way, and that's not a terrible, uh, Let's 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 head in that direction. Uh, that's that's excellent. Okay, what do you need? I like that. Uh, but doesn't this look great? Uh, it gets a little J.J. Abramsy with the lens flares Get and an all. Axe but, and bring uh, me all the wood you can chop. Well, I would if I needed some money, but frankly, right now I don't really need any money. What I do need is leather, and lots of it, so that I can make myself a tent. Don't want to have to buy one. Um, and we're already at five forty-three. Mm. Um, I think that I can afford a little bit of time in an inn. Uh, we'll make that uh, as quick as possible. Mining is hard work. But I certainly need to buy a water skin if I can. Seen the remnants of the grove? Oh, that? not well, you. Who that was I want to talk to you. Me and my sister. Mm -hmm. Poor Rogi. If you're feeling charitable, buy the Nordam mead. I it's will if I can. It. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Please tell me that you have an empty water skin that I can buy. No? Sad. Sad. I'm going to have to go drink out of the river, I guess. Um, I will buy some bread, though, uh, and some goat cheese. Um, and I think that's about it. A uh, salt pile would be handy. Um, and a knight. A room for the night, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks. I'll show you to your room. Excellent. Right this way. Let's go. Is it over here this time? Let me know if there's anything else you need. All right. I will. Thanks, ma'am. I'm going to have a quick snooze, and then we're going to head out in the darkness. Uh, let's see. Well, it'll be like let's let's sleep ten hours. That'll give us a good, well rested. I'll grab a bite to eat, run down to the river, have a drink, just like I'm having a fine adult beverage <coughs> as we record this. A little bread, some cheese, apple, and a salmon steak. That ought to get me going. I wish I could buy water. I know Mine's once I have my water skins, I can rug. Good oh. thing I'm around to keep it up. Uh, I can refill them at the inn. used to be uh, a lovely place. But I can't. Yes. Uh, buy water directly. Uh, so let's just run down here. I love those shadows of the windmill sails. Let's see if I can grab a, a little bit of a, a drink right here. Oh, tell me this isn't a good source of water. Oh, big sigh. All right, well, I'm going to have to go thirsty for a while. I know that I need to drink something soon. get my, make sure I'm armed and ready for dangerous beasts. I know that my thirst is going to get to me soon, uh, so I'm going to have to do something about that. But while I can still at least find some kind of Uh -huh. All right. 
Now, let's get some skinning going here. And I'm not going to really harvest any ingredients at this point. I don't have a... I don't have a lantern. I don't need animal fat right now, and I won't be doing any alchemy. So things like wolf teeth and wolf eyes and things like that aren't going to do me any good. But the pelts will certainly do me some good uh, as soon as I'm able to harvest better pelts. Uh, Hunterborn allows all kinds of leeway uh, in those terms. I have set it so that I need... There's a giant over there. Uh, so that I need a hunting knife in order to uh, butcher and skin animals with any efficiency. Right now, since I only have an iron knife, it's just for basic stuff. And those uh, uh, poor cl class wolf skins will yield fur plate, which I can then uh, make leather from. Um, but the more I get, the better. Uh, now I know there's, there are, I also have to watch out for Imperial patrols. Um, however, I can certainly take advantage of a, an Imperial patrol killing a wolf or two, if that's what they did. Is there a wolf carcass anywhere? Yes, right there. Excellent. Um, so, that's good. Ruined pelt. Well, that'll yield some laces, perhaps. Uh, now, we're getting up near Steam Crag. I think... Now, can I drink out of these little pools here? Excellent. That's better. All right, so that'll take some of the debuff away from being thirsty. Um, I hear something going on. What's this up here? Well, you've killed another wolf successfully. They're like rats around here, aren't they? Like, oh my god, there are so many wolves. question. No, I don't have any questions. Thank you. Uh, I have learned from my... Ex oh, excellent. A fully upgraded wolf pelt. Um, now, I will be uh, save spamming a little bit. Uh, my apologies for that. But that's just the way it goes. I don't want to have to go back and redo things too much. Um... I also have the mod uh, Interesting NPCs loaded, so uh, there's a little encounter right here. Uh, but uh, Tanita is just a little bit too powerful for me. I think I have tried... I have... Um, come on, take the potion. I have... Uh, oh, this Kaji usually has a lockpick. Bummer. I don't think I have any, yeah. Um, Snowberries. Well, they were always handy to have. Uh, tomatoes. Sure, why not? And now let's see if I can grab a pelt from this horse. That would be really excellent if I can get a good pelt. Ah, oh well. That's kind of random. Uh, it's definitely a dice roll. Uh, meat, I don't need all that weight. Um, I might kill a goat or two. Where's the... Giants. Oh, he's over there. Sometimes it's fun to run in and steal stuff from the giants, but today, today we won't be doing that. And we're going to leave Tanita alone because she's pretty powerful. She's a dual wielder, and and at level one, I'm just not ready to, to deal with that. Um, there are plenty of wolves to kill, though. Uh, there'll be more along the way here. So we're going to head up. I think. We're going to make the, the turn up here. There goes Talisker. Oh, a dead goat. Excellent. Now, that's some meat I can use. 
Uh, let's see if I can get a good pelt out of them. Well, it's better than nothing. And we'll butcher some meat. Uh, that'll be enough to hold me for a while if I can get some salt. Um, and uh, we're not going to want to be eating raw meat because it, it could give us a nasty stomach rot. Um, but we can certainly uh, we can certainly cook some. I did. I think I bought one salt pile. So if we can find a, a cooking fire, we can make ourselves a roast roast goat. Um, Is that a skeever or something? Yes. Okay. I don't even bother with skeevers. Unless I'm doing alchemy, and since we're not doing alchemy, uh, we're going to skip the skeevers, as it were. So, let's... Uh, the road to the right up here heads in the general direction of Iverstead. We'll have to climb the mountain. Um, I think there's a bear up here somewhere, too. And we're going to get out of the snowy region soon. I'm not, absolutely not, at level one heading for any of those dwarven ruins. Forget that. It's kind of a nice foggy morning. Pretty. Um, and look at all the bees. Bees are excellent, uh, excellent alchemy ingredients. Now there's got to be more wolves here, but maybe we can get a quick pelt out of this one before the rest of them show up. Uh, I love in the background they throw loons in there. You heard that in the background. I have I have some of my uh, audio turned down. That that little distant call there. That's that's a loon. There's no loons in Skyrim. Uh, but whatever. There they are. I knew there'd be more wolves up here somewhere. Alright. Steel swords for the win. Alright. Oops. I harvested some blue mountain flower. That's alright. I can always use blue mountain flower. Uh, skin the pelt. Come on now. I I mean, you know, all right, so it's just a lowly iron knife. Am I going to have to buy a dwarven knife just to give myself better pelts? Uh, and dispose of you. I need like 11 or 12 leather to, to make a tent, so... Maybe I'll just make myself a bedroll until then. At least I can sleep out under the stars. Ah, so here's the road to the right and more wolves. They really are like rats in this in Skyrim. It's it's I occasionally I'll use a mod called uh, one with nature, which uh, I like very much. Um, and allows you to selectively uh, change the behavior of, of animals from you know friendly to cowardly to aggressive and all that it's it's really is a quite a good mod but it I have the feeling occasionally that it does cause uh, issues so I have stopped adding it to my load orders uh, on a regular basis uh, it's more a, a scripting uh, thing where you know script loads can just get uh, onerous, I mean, and and cause lots and lots of little lag lag hitches, um, and so if you have to worry about that constantly, um, and it's annoying to watch uh, from a YouTube viewer's perspective, um, it's just I just you know opted to uh, excellent. I'm learning a little bit more. Um, and I'm still not going to harvest any ingredients. Um, so I kind of stopped loading it in, but I, I do highly recommend it for anybody. It's it's uh, it's been developed on and off over the years, uh, so it's it's in version two something. Uh, it does work quite well, uh, and it's very nice to be able to selectively. Um, I'm going to quick save right there. 
And we're just gonna go after this guy. Oh, Hand over your valuables. Walk away nice try, right now. But you don't scare me. Really? I'm not going to ask again. Well, I don't have time for don't this. Don't you walk away from me! <laughs> Yeah, you picked the wrong guy. Alright. So I'm gonna have to take that potion that I found. A true Nord, Manfred does not believe in magic. At least, not much magic. But he doesn't have any problem with picking locks. Uh, so we're gonna leave all that. There's nothing really worth grabbing there. The garnet is worth it, though. Um, so he did uh, learn uh, a simple healing spell uh, from the other kids in the orphanage. So uh, he may uh, he may occasionally use that, but as far as other magic goes, um, that's just not not part of the, uh, the part of the equation and certainly uh, he does know enough to make simple healing potions like I said so we'll, we will do a little bit of that um, when we have time uh, there's some blue mountain flower um, time to gather some wheat up in Rorikstead we'll make a few simple healing potions and uh, so up we go up the mountain I think, uh, oh, we're gonna have to kill a skeever here. Um, let me just check the map. I'm pretty sure we're, yeah, we're gonna be heading straight up uh, that way. Iverstead is, uh, let's see, there's Riften. Iverstead's right over here. Um, so, now that, if you noticed on the map there, Darkwater Keep, that's an excellent player home uh, done by Clef J. Um, and uh, definitely worth having. I always throw it in, whether I use it or not uh, is open to question. Ah, more wolves, more skins. Uh, that's fine with me as long as I can kill them. Um, uh, and is there one more alive? No, I got them both. Um, and is that rabbit got anything in it? I don't know if you've got a little bit of rabbit meat and a rabbit skin, perhaps? Mm, yeah, let's just have the meat. Um, and we'll get rid of that little corpse. Poor thing. And field dress. The, now, uh, if anybody knows Hunterborn, you'll know that I have turned off the timing uh, for skinning, etc. Um, and that's because, again, it's fun to play that way when you're playing alone, but when you're trying to make videos for people to watch, it's just incredibly boring. Uh, and uh, yes, it's realistic and all, but you know, sometimes, uh, pardon my French, well, just fuck realism. So um, I think, is that one of the paths that heads up? It's not one that I want to take, though. I'm going to stick to the road here. I think I want to take a, a different... There is a road that winds up. I believe it's after the bridge over this waterfall that's coming up here. Um, if I'm not mistaken... Um, unless I've already passed that. I don't think I have yet. Um, there's that Falmer cave where you... Oh, Snapleg Cave. Hmm. What might be in Snapleg Cave? Is it something that we think we can deal with? Let's uh, let's actually drop a hard save right here. Um, and what is that? That is that's a skeever head. I don't have a bow yet, uh, which is what I would like if this is a bandit cave. 
Well, let's go in. What the heck? Might as well try to level up. I mean, we need to go get that jagged crown. All right. Let's sneak in here a little ways and see what we have in store for us. Snap leg. Why does this sound ominously familiar? Lots of skeevers. I think those we can kill one at a time. these skeevers no but it's certainly worth butchering this elk down here and grabbing a drink of water while we're at it all right good now let's see if we can get a decent skin out of this guy come on now give me a good skin oh well again fur plate can be made into Ooh, no, that's a taproot. That sort of indicates hag ravens. Let's just sneak in there a little ways and see which is witches or hag ravens. I think that's a bad, bad idea for for poor little Manfred. I also, oh yes, witches, hag ravens, and I hear spiders. Out we go. Discretion, valor, blah, blah, blah. Um, skeever pelts, I can maybe make those into leather as well. I feel as though I'm improving. It's always nice to improve. Still getting poor skeever pelts though. All right, so we're gonna continue on our way here up the mountain in this beautiful weather. There's a little bunny webbit. Yeah, I think I opted for the high road here. This comes out, this comes out to the west of Iverstead, uh, east, pardon me, uh, that's right, and then so I have to cross this bridge and then go back to... Uh, yeah, I thought I was coming up this way, different road. Okay, no worries. Um, maybe we'll go around one side or the other. Um, we're going to re-save over that. Uh, the fall of... I, I do wish that Bethesda had built uh, seasonal changes into Skyrim. I understand the, the difficulty of doing that and the attendant, you know, uh, performance hits. Uh, and at the time when the game was made and, and, uh, and the platforms that it was certainly optimized for, i.e. Um, consoles, uh, it just wasn't in the cards. But it'd be nice if if it wasn't always fall in Riften. And it's, it's you know, you can do that with mods, certainly. There's lots and lots of wonderful mods that will uh, um, allow you, to, but you have to sort of manually do it. Um, now these guys, I think, are fairly dangerous. Maybe. I don't remember. Um, hmm. Nilheim. Do we dare? I don't remember. Honestly, I don't. Well, let's see if we're, we have a warm reception or not. Ah, okay. Hello. Yes? Hello. 
Who are you? What did I do? Oh, I didn't do anything. Ah, well, anyway. They seem to be guarding something. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't remember. I don't remember what this is. Is this added by a mod or... I know it's kind of dark. My apologies. Um, iron sword. Uh, but there's Iberstadt over there. And there is... So we're going to just hop down this way. And cross over the lake here. So if I go around, I know what's over there. There's bears and... Uh, that's not something that Manfred wants to deal with right now. He's more interested in uh, artifacts for the archaeologist. I wonder what kind of artifacts she wants. Um, I suppose if I if I have if I have the mod highlighted. It'll show me. Maybe it's in a chest somewhere or something. Uh, meanwhile, I'm hoping for a at least some kind of tanning rack over in Iverstadt. I think there is one, so I can divest myself of some of these pelts and make some leather. Uh, and maybe find a cooking pot to at least cook a leg of goat. So I have something to eat, because I am going to have to go into Shroud Hearth Barrow, and uh, I am going to need some wheat and an alchemy table. Um, and... Then I should be okay, I think. There's the barrow there. Uh, yes, and they do have wheat down here at the farm, so at least I can... Uh, harvest some of that. Not a whole lot of it, but they got some. Um, now, alchemy, I th there might be an alchemy table at the inn. Come on, where am I stuck on here? Um, And I'm certainly going to have to uh, go into the inn to talk to... Is it Wilhelm is the proprietor at this inn here? Um, but golly, a tanning rack would be just super awesome. So did I pass one by here? Let's see. Uh, there's that. There's the, yes, there's the tanning rack. Do you ever All right. to have children? Twice so, can. what can we make here? We can make lots of fur plate. We can make leather out of two of these. And then we can make fur plate. Now, the fur tents take 12 fur plate. Yeah, and this. Leather tents take 12 leather. I'm not going to even come close to that. Uh, more fur plate out of the deer pelt. And then I can make leather out of those. And I don't need a cowhide, but that's, that's enough for now. I've I've gained some experience, thanks to Ars Metallica. I've got some smithing experience out of that. Um, and now I have just leather. I, I don't have to worry about carrying away all those poor pelts and everything else around. So, let's run in here. Now, there's a notice board there. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a missives board here in Iverstadt. Um, there's certainly horses. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow. You took an knee. arrow to the knee, huh? Yeah, I, I I've heard that that can happen to certain people. Um, all right, let's just take a quick look at the notice board for some simple quests. 
looking for armor, escape criminal, pelts now, that's not usually, yeah, glass helmet, that's going to be in a much more bandit leader bounty, nah, Falmer ear is not interested, missive for Bryling, we can take that, and uh, dangerous criminal take alive, hmm, Guthrum looking for pelts. Refugees rest. Rescues. I think we'll just take that one. Look at a minute. The Villamir Inn. Does it have an alchemy table? Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get. Is anybody you, here? Is there an alchemist out. here in town? Speak. Hmm. Hmm. No. Sadly. Ah, dear. Well, I think you should continue with your performances. Wait a minute. What's the point? I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few people every night. I think you played beautifully. It would be a shame if you stopped. All right, Wilhelm. I suppose it's the least I can do for you. All right, well, as anybody we who's visitors through here. observant can see... If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Really? Tell me more about the Barrow. But before you do, we have to note that I believe this is Wico, W-I-C-O, Windtel, Windsong Immersive Character Overhaul. Is that what it is? Anyway, it does some really nice things, but it's clearly changed the look of Wilhelm here from a kind of a slightly dumpy, balding, uh, but sweet guy into basically the same face that is the innkeeper at who's the other one who has lost his wife and has the beautiful buxom daughter who has an awful voice where, where which one is that is that the one in Falkreath no no anyway well that's not a change I like but anyway tell me more about the barrow there ain't much more to tell they're haunted and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very really? own eyes. Hmm. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Right through your soul. Wow. Hmm. Do, well, do they, like, come out in the town? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrel. Huh. I think they're guarding it. Yeah, of course they are. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrel? Well, not me. So if I'm going to go check out the barrow first. I mean, it's only on one in the afternoon. Watch your step. It's a long way down. I'll bet it is. I think you should continue with your... Is it absolutely necessary That's for you to bother point. me right now? Oh, shut up. Good, you know... It's only for the same <laughs> now. Let's see. I, I can make... It would be a shame if you goat haunch. That's good. All right, and then seared have. rabbit. That's good. So I don't I have to eat raw rabbit meat. Uh, these two are clearly alchemical ingredients. I think that I'll make that. Um, and maybe I'll just sell them. Um, but that's good. I at least have some some meat now oh you know i d before we run over to the barrow i just want to check and see if wilhelm if i were you i'd uh, keep away from yeah take thanks. A look. you've already told me that uh d you do most excellent uh i will buy Ooh. Hmm. i don't know 96 gold i'll buy one and it's filled all right and i'm going to buy a loaf of bread too uh, if you pass through again. Then I'm going to drink some of it immediately. I'll and buy then, for a drink. And then I'm going to refill it Need for you five. You name it, of course. All right. All right, that should hold me. Um, if you pass through again for a drink. I will, I will. But first, we need to check out this barrow. All right, so yes. off we go. The barrow is over here. I do wish we could find... You know, maybe if I can kill the right uh, draugr... Which one are you? You are a poacher. 
I'm not interested right now in poaching. Um, however, I am interested in upping my sneak. Now, I don't know if you can hear that subtle little hum. Can you hear that on the on the YouTube audio? Okay, so if you can, and it sounds to you like, where is it? Where is it? Sometimes they show up as little enemies. No, it's a hummingbird. Come on, where are you? Yeah, I'll never see. It. They're very hard to catch. Uh, they are added by a wonderful modder by the name of Mihail, who does all kinds of amazing mods. Hey. Uh, hmm. Who are you? are you one of the interesting NPCs? Uh, you know, I don't want to get into a conversation right now. Um, anyway, Mihail's wonderful. Lots of awesome things. Uh, Mihail Mods, M-I-H-A-I-L. Check them out. Uh, uh, hummingbirds and all kinds of other cool centaurs, minotaurs, things. Some of them are really tough, so watch out. And they do integrate, so you'll find centaurs actually in the Imperial Army, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I don't have a lantern yet either, so this might end up being a little dark. Um, and let's see, I uh, let me bear with me for one second. Predator vision doesn't work extremely well um, with, uh, with this ENB, but it works well enough to see something a little better. Um, but right now I am almost totally blind. Uh, yes, well, there we go. That's better. Uh, again, uh, like, I hope, I hope that the viewers are gonna bear with me, but this, this, uh, this series isn't just about, uh, Let's Play. Uh, there's plenty of those out there. This is about Let's Play and modding. Uh, and so here is your first view, if you've never seen it before, of the, uh, vivid, uh, version of Dungeons and Caves. My opinion, it is the definitive texture for Dungeons and Caves. There is no better. Um, so I always use it. Uh, oh, should have just taken the septums out of that. So let's uh, let's get our. You know what? Well, yeah, I'm going to sneak because I want to up my sneak a little bit. This guy, I believe, is going to pop into life. This place. <laughs> no, just bone meal. This place. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Before the ages of man. Well, that didn't do me any good. Um... Oh, God. Can you ever remember the sequence? Now, that last one shoots poison darts, if I remember correctly. Yes. Um, and then this one. And then this one. No. And then that one. Did nothing. I'll get it eventually. There it goes. Is that all of them? No, but, it, well, it's not all of them, but that's okay. It gets me in this way. Uh, save spam. Uh, it is dark, and I know that's going to end up looking dark on YouTube, and I apologize. Um, and there are no... Uh, so I'm going to just turn up the... And this is all this does is really turn up the contrast. Uh, it doesn't really do much good for um, actual light. But uh, now I know this guy is going to be tough to kill. I'm not sure if I can do it. Um, but let's see. That's the door towards the. Uh, the other side where the where I need the claw key. Um, let's just drop another quick save here. And 
and uh All there he the is. Shall be the dead. it there Whew. all right so down at down at this low level of, of uh, my own uh, progression I guess it's he's not as hard to kill as he used to be I can sell that spell tone though uh, I'm gonna turn this that looks a little more natural uh, eventually we'll get a wearable lantern and then and then it won't be so bad uh, I think I'm going to have to go to Bellathor for that. He's usually the uh, the most uh, ready. Ah, and an alchemy table. Excellent. All right, so now I can make some health potions. Um, and uh, this is an excellent one. I know that's going to cost me some weight, but... Uh, that's all right. Um, where am I for carry weight? Oh, I'm fine. Not a problem. All right. So I need to read his journal. And I'm not going to go through it all. Uh, essentially, the story, if you don't know it, is that uh, when Delius came here looking for something, which we'll find out about uh, shortly, uh, and then was essentially uh, uh, driven mad by the search for it and also by a spirit within, oops, I, should, I need to take that. Uh, and uh, eventually he sort of turns into his own worst enemy and goes mad. Um, but uh, he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. So we need to run back and uh, talk to, oops, that was empty, uh, talk to uh, Wilhelm and tell him that uh, his ghost was in fact just a trick, just an alchemy spell. Uh, so let's, uh, uh, that will open these, yes. Um, oh, for a lantern. If I could actually find my way onto the stairs. Oh my god. Let's see if I can figure out where I am. Ah, lordy, lordy. Okay, I can see my way going up from the reflected light here and this should be the door out right here Thank you. I have to get a lantern this is ridiculous so how am I gonna if I can't forge one I know that uh, I could maybe I can buy some torches from somebody who would have a torch because I can't take you through this dungeon without without light and I'm not going to turn off my ENB. Sorry. So, what are my choices? Well, I know what they are. And so, what we're going to do is, we're going to run back and talk to Wilhelm. Uh, we're going to get the item that I was speaking of, in case nobody knows what it is. Let's do that first, quickly. Uh, and uh, then we're going to call it an episode. And off... Off camera, I'm going to go find myself a lantern. Welcome to the and some fuel for the lantern. If anything I can get you, just let me know. So, if I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Hmm. Well, I guess I have to reinitiate that, don't I? There ain't much more to look. I've Stupid seen dog. one of the spirits. Fortunate certainly isn't helping my business any. Well, Who'd want to why don't you have a look at this journal I found? Let me see that. I 
can't believe this. It was all just a fabrication of this Windelius character. I can't believe we were so stupid. Sir, you weren't stupid. Well, you were trying to protect your loved ones. least I can do ones. is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. And the Sapphire Claw. And that's what we need to get into the rest of the barrow there. So uh, give me a... Excuse me. Please, may I have a copy of the Jobs of Skyrim? Uh, we'll look at that in a little bit. Um, and I am not going to be looking for work from you, um, but let's just Drink for quickly the one more time food look at your. For the hungry. Do you have anything in that category? No, you don't. Okay. Well. All right, folks, uh, we're if going to spend the night the here. We're going to head off in search step. of a, a, long way down. a lantern uh, or some torches to light our way into the barrow. And until then, until next time, this is Vic with Manfred Testerson in Skyrim Stupid Fits dog. and Starts Prologue. Thank you for watching, and I Have hope to see you yet? next time. Yeah.